it's Johnny Jones and I'm here at home and today we have the TRC 15 that's right not 115 not 215 not 185,315 TRC 15 this is an incredibly old radio this was before 1967 67 is when I saw the service manual for it and it's the only picture of it I was able to even see online. Which is insane to think that I may be one of the only people who's ever put up a video of this. Maybe the only one. So this was made back before 1967 by um, Radio Shack Corporation. This is an old CB radio. It wasn't in 1958 when they came out with the Class D license for CB radio. Before that, CB radio was UHF, 460 to 470 megahertz. UHF, expensive radios at the time. So when Class D came out and made it affordable for people, they started making radios like this, using this 27 megahertz that we know and love today. That they actually took away from the hams from the 11 meter band. But the hams don't bitch about that anymore. At least I don't think so. They might still hate us. So... As you can see, we got A, B, C, D, L, then back to A. So we have 12 channels. Now, 23 is what we had. We took 22 from Ham, one from the uh, RC car band, which we still share with the RC cars. That's a that's sort of a long, complicated story about frequency allocation. But uh, let's just say some channels are have 20 kilohertz spacings instead of 10 to fit RC car frequencies. Don't worry about that. So let's look at how you change the crystals in this if your buddy was talking on a different channel. i be careful. Now these things are built very solid. See here? 12 spaces where you would change your crystal. This was a lot like ham at the time. CB was a lot more technical than it is today. That's because people were smarter than they are today. I'm almost certain of it. So you'd, uh, you'd stick your crystal in there and that's why the that's why the channels aren't numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 23. You didn't have that. You just had to put it in there what you, you know, what you wanted. And then I guess you wrote down on a piece of paper what A was and B was and yada, yada, yada. So does it still work? Well, let's see. Well, that sounds like it. Let's see. Turn it down, so. Yeah, so she still works just fine. A little bit uh, old, and things are sounding a little bit uh, crunchy, but I can't expect anything less from a radio from 1967. What about transmit? Hey, old girl, do you still transmit? Oh, thank you. Thank you for being in my video, and thank you for existing. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. And this thing is built like ham radios are built today. This isn't built like a CB radio West is today. This thing is still working. There's no, like, electrolytic capacitors that are blowing up. Nothing like that. This, I can't believe this actually works. There's two transformers in here. Which are huge. They are huge. You see them. I don't really know what they're used for. I still have to, I still have to dig into this. Well, like I said, I've only really been doing this electronic stuff for about a year now, and um, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can about the uses of all these things. But that's that's right, my friends. Johnny Jones at home may be the only YouTube channel ever to cover this radio. 
And I was going to teach you a little bit about the history of CB radio, who invented it, and all that. And if you guys really want to know about that, I, I may talk about it later. But I did several takes of this, and it just became too boring. So I figured let's focus on the radio, skip all the crap. This is Johnny Jones. Uh, I was going to do an Let me do an outro like that. That would be a great outro. This is Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And I'll see you later. Thank you, Nick.